Hello everybody, this is Mitkunik and I'm back again with the tutorial on the text box uh, class and uh, if you haven't uh, watched the uh, to uh, watch, watch the demonstration of the text box class I will have an annotation on the screen or a link in the description below but if you well, I'm gonna consider that you have watched the demonstration and you have seen uh, what what uh, text box can do what the text box class can do uh, now let's go uh, to the uh, to a new uh, fresh uh, project text box tutorial I've called it and let's uh, now implement the text box class from scratch now if you haven't if you haven't gotten to the github uh, repository where my text box class is located uh, we're gonna go to the uh, you need to go to the link in the description below it is github.com slash uh, slash processing and uh, here you will see the projects that I've done in processing now the text box uh, project you're gonna open the text box project and you see two files the the file which has the capital letters text box is the actual text box class and you just uh, can copy the class from here or copy the class now my mouse is pretty uh, old I will copy the class and I will open it here I will open I will create a new tab and enter the name text box and I will just paste the class here and as you can see you got the text box class now it is says, says here that it's uh, probably uh, not used or whatever it does it says local class text box uh, we're gonna see uh, what's that issue um, later but uh, let's just start with the code I'm going to create the setup and the draw methods and in the setup I'm going to quickly just uh, put size of 400 uh, 250 let's say and um, I'm going to draw it with some background of let's say uh, 180 that's that's pretty okay now uh, we've got the window and I will the thing that you need to do is you need to create an array list of these text boxes and you will have a method of adding these text boxes to that array list or creating the layout so I will create an array list and call it text boxes new array list of text boxes and now here it shouldn't have yeah you see that error went uh, went off and if when we've created this uh, text boxes uh, array list of text boxes we need to make a method to uh, the most uh, the most ideal way is to create another method and like initialize layout I will call it and this method will initialize the layout of the te of uh, text boxes or anything else that you that you might have in the project uh, as a user interface and in here I'm going to show you two methods so you can initialize one text box the one method is let's let me create just a text box uh, call it um, call it for example um, we're gonna call it a two or uh, or the receiver receiver and it's gonna be a new text box and now this text box here the receiver for example we're gonna call it uh, we're gonna have uh, one text box receiver and then and the other message for example did I spell that right yeah thanks 
uh, but now you have two uh, things you can you need to init uh, you, you need to set uh, every text boxes x y uh, position and the width and the height of the text box so you can do what you can do is you can do receiver dot x equals and I'm going to position the receiver to the so I'm going to set up first the width of let's say a hundred and I'm going to do receiver the height let's say 30 or 35 let's put them 35 and I'm going to do receiver receiver dot x I'm going to be putting it with minus uh, minus a hundred divided by two so that's or I will put receiver dot width so this will centralize the uh, the receiver the box and the receiver dot why I'm going to put them just uh, like 50 and this will set up where the box is and how big it, it is but if we want to put this box into the layout you not just need to you, you will need to do text boxes of course text boxes dot add and add the receiver but on the drawing method the most important thing is to draw every text box so in uh, or in uh, in the order in order uh, to the for loop uh, the for loop to be to be looking good actually to uh, uh, we, we don't need to use variables in the for loop we're gonna use the enhanced for uh, loop into pro in processing and it's gonna be just like that text box D, I'm gonna call it uh, in text boxes so for every text box T in the text box T dot draw and that's that's pretty much it to draw every text box this is drawing every text box but now if uh, oh because I never I never call the method initialize initialize layout you need to call the method yeah you call the method you're gonna s you should see call yeah you see here uh, it it lacks a little bit because of the of uh, the fraps here but that's pretty much here it so we're gonna 400 let me sh let me set it up like this yeah, but now 400 is uh, the whole screen area. So as you can see, we're calling this initialize method and it's initializing here a layout. And this is the text box itself. But as uh, as you can see that if we click, it's, it, not, it nothing happens. It, uh, we type it, nothing happens. Because we haven't connected the text box to the method, uh, the uh, the key press and the mouse press method so we're gonna of course call this uh, key press uh, first we're gonna start with mouse press because we need to select the box so and we're gonna go over the same thing here but what we gonna go instead of draw the text box is, itself has some uh, pressed a method called pressed and we just supply the mouse X and the mouse Y coordinates so as you can see now we can select the text box we can select the text box but still to make it actually uh, to make it typable or to make it uh, so we can type uh, on you need to uh, go through every uh, to go through every 
uh, text box and for every text box uh, supply uh, call the key press method with the key key and the key code but yeah the key and the key code the key code is actually an integer so now we can type out and as you can see it works great we can type out and we can uh, do actually uh, we can erase the text so that's pretty much it for the setting up of the layout now now I want uh, to uh, to show you how you can set it up from the constructor itself so you can what you can do is instead of having these x y uh, with height x y coordinates uh, set, setting up like this you can you can just call the constructor and, and um, set it up so uh, the first parameter in the constructor is the x coordinate so the x coordinate will be done by with minus for example now we're gonna the same thing we're gonna do 300 divided by 2 and that's the x coordinate so the y coordinate is going to be like let's say 130 and 100 I will put and the uh, uh, width and height we're going to be putting the width to, three, to, to 300 and the height to uh, we're going to be putting it like a little bit like let's say a hundred will it work uh, and add don't forget to add the the text box here text boxes dot add message so as you can see we have uh, we have two text boxes, and it actually keeps uh, it doesn't go to the next row here on this text box because it doesn't have the ability. Uh, but if you wanna add this ability to go to some further rows and have multiple rows, and that that will be, uh, that would actually be great in some sense but not in uh, every sense it won't be uh, that efficient so if we see here the te uh, we have created two text boxes and we can type on both so let's create now one of the text boxes when I click enter on this message here text box uh, it will show me some kind of another like it, it will show me the message and will show me some text here so uh, to do this uh, you need to see uh, to see if this key press event returns uh, true if it returns true it means that uh, the user have cli uh, has clicked uh, enter on this text box so if this uh, method uh, returns true and now if you uh, that will mean uh, it returns true on the on, on whatever text box it is uh, if you click enter it will return true if you want to know uh, which text box uh, from which text box it, the user clicked enter you will probably uh, have this for loop uh, on the uh, using variables so you would know exactly what text box clicked uh, uh, has clicked enter and let's just for for example purposes let's just uh, create let's just have a variable here bool uh, send false and let's just have some string here And now, when the user uh, is cl uh, has clicked enter, it's going to set this send here to true, and it's going to uh, put the message to the. For example, we're going to get uh, the content content from the first box. So, let's say uh, the first box is actually uh, the 
the first box is actually the receiver so what I will do is I will do text boxes dot get and at zero dot text plus so the or, or uh, the message for example so what this will do is it will grab uh, the message from the second text box uh, the text from the second text box here and the second text box is the message and going just to say the message equals the message is second text box so uh, in the drawing method I'm going after drawing the text boxes if it's if the sent value if the bool sent is true and then what I'm going to do is just going to uh, say text uh, uh, text msg uh, the message and I'm going to position it so that the width minus text width of the msg this is uh, kind of an idea uh, of just centering it out and going to put it just uh, just over like the y position I'm going to put it at Two hundred and fifty, two hundred and sixty. Let's see how this would look like. So you've got the two text boxes, uh, for example, to Mitko, and the message is "Hi, uh, hello world." So the message is "Hello world." Now. Of course, if you want more than just uh, just this, uh, you will need to, of course, to modify the uh, text box itself, the class text box class. And I'm not going to show you in this video how you can do it, but this is the basic idea of uh, the text box class and how you can implement it in processing. I hope you like these videos and I uh, hope you uh, hope to see you again soon in uh, another uh, layout videos and making layout in processing possible is pretty a huge uh, idea and uh, it's not just uh, the idea it's the uh, it's the whole uh, the the possibility that opens uh, with this because processing is pretty uh, interesting language and it's not just it's not just uh, object oriented but it has some uh, pretty uh, cool other features that uh, like a lot of the languages lack and I think uh, it's worth having a layout in processing so this is going to be it for today guys thanks for watching I hope uh, it helped and that's it thanks peace